Hello everyone, welcome back to the video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover up unit create reports with the report builder from the module reports and dashboards for lightning experience. This is the second unit of this module. So the first unit is basically quiz based unit. So you can cover that on your own. So we are going to start up with the second unit. So here basically we have to create a, a report on lead object. So the type of report that we are going to select is on lead object. And before we proceed further with these requirements of report, uh, make sure you create a brand new trailhead playground for this challenge. Otherwise, you are going to run into error uh, at the time of checking the challenge. So it is necessary that you create a fresh or new trailhead playground. So once that is done, click on uh, launch button and you will land on this page. Now go to the app launcher here, search for reports and we'll filter out this option for you. Click on reports option. Now we have to create a new report, click on new report button. And for the type of report, uh, we have to select leads as it is mentioned in our challenge. So select leads here and click on this lead button and click on continue. Now next, as per the challenge, we have to uh, change the standard filter. Uh, for date, we have to select create a date and range has to be all times. So I will change this as per this requirement. So create a date, uh, this filter is all right, like date is already selected as created date. For range, I have to make it all time and just click on apply. Uh, there is this uh, uh, warning that has been coming up. So click on this refresh. It is asking for you to uh, refresh the preview. The next is fields. We have to show these three fields, which are lead owner, lead source, and rating. So I'll be uh, going back to outline tab here. And I will remove all the three, uh, all the fields other than this lead owner, lead source, and rating. So lead owner is there, rating is there, and lead source is there. So let's just remove the other fields. So we have to keep lead owner, lead source, and uh, rating. Lead owner will be, let's keep it that way. Lead owner rating and lead source. I'm sorry, lead sources. Okay. This may or may uh, might not create an error. The sequence may or might not uh, uh, put any effect on the child at the time of checking challenge, but I'm making sure that we do not miss any step and just uh, follow the sequence that is provided in our challenge, right? So click on this refresh button. So this will uh, update our report based on this. So lead owner, lead source and rating columns has been uh, appeared here. Now the last thing is uh, we have to uh, create one filter which is lead source has to be web. So I will go back to this here and click on filters tab. Now add filter, click on this search bar and select lead source. Select this option lead source and it has to be web so select this option so web has been selected click on apply refresh so this has uh, filtered out our report uh, based on lead source uh, where web is the value for these records and the last we have to report, uh, name the report as web leads. So I'm simply going to copy this here, web leads and going back here, I will click on this button, save. Here I'm going to change the name to web leads. Unique name will be auto-populated. Rest we do not have to change. Uh, just click on save button. Folder, uh, nothing has been specified here for folder. Let's just see. So our report has been saved. Uh, now we are going to go going back here to the challenge and simply going to click on this button, check challenge. And let's just wait for this uh, to give out the results, uh, whether we have uh, passed all the test cases or use cases provided in this challenge. There you go, this unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then take care and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you.